assalamu alaikum now today i am with you for this with this problem a sketching of a quadratic function <coughs> you know whenever we sketch a first degree equation we get a straight line here whenever a quadratic or second degree function like this fx equal ax square plus bx plus c will be sketched it will give a parabola parabola is something like this 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 is this shape is called parabola following are the standard shapes of the function or you can say the following are the standard shapes of the parabola whenever we will sketch this function the second degree function we will have two types of parabola either we will get this parabola right side number 1 or we will get this parabola left side number 2 what is the difference between this this picture we will get this picture of parabola or we will get this picture of parabola okay this is called happy parabola happy parabola this is called sad parabola this shape depends on the constant a which is the number with x square in the function this a the shape of the parabola depends on this a if this a is positive parabola is happy if they if this a is negative parabola is sad you can see this picture this parabola see so see my movement this is moving like this okay and moving like this going up this happy parabola is it starts from some point and cuts at point c y axis then cuts x axis at two points and it goes down 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 and this is the minimum point from here then it moves up 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 and again it cuts x axis at this point and go up this point you know it cuts y axis so this is called y intercept these two points at these two points this function cuts at this curve cuts x axis so they are called x intercepts and this is the point where it is going to the most minimum so this is called the minimum point and this point on x axis of y axis corresponding to this point this is called minimum value of the function what i feel <coughs> why it is called happy parabola i feel this is this shape of the function is like this emoji before the, this emoji this emoji if we use this emoji for a uh, happy to show the happy somebody is happy and similarly when this a is negative it will be a sad parabola and the sad parabola shape will have like this is it also has the same situation it will cut at y axis some point it will cut at two points it will cut at two points on uh, x axis like this x1 this x2 there will be a maximum point and there will be a maximum value okay now we will see one by one how we draw how we draw a function what we do in a sketch i am discussing here what we do in a sketch to to square to sketch a parabola we need to know what is the shape of the parabola why the either it is happy or it is sad what is the y intercept what is x intercepts what is the minimum point or what is the minimum value of the function actually these two points minimum point of the function and minimum value of the function these two points give a coordinate coordinate of this turning point actually we can call this point as a turning point suppose it is happy so we should know what is c we should know what is x1 we should know what is x2 and from here from where it is going to be to turn this is called a turning point to show this point definitely you need a coordinate coordinate of this point the coordinate of this point is the minimum value x and the corresponding fx value this is fx so this pair is giving uh, giving me the coordinate this pair is giving me the coordinate of this point 
now definitely we we should know how we will get this uh, how we will know the shape how we will know y intercept how we will calculate x intercept and how we will know the minimum and minimum uh, point and the minimum value of x so i take one exercise to show all this i take this exercise and it will be uh, uh, it will be explaining each step how we are getting sketch the quadratic function fx x square minus fx plus 6 first of all the step 1 we should know what is the shape of the curve i told before i think the shape of the curve depends on the number with x square a if a is positive curve is happy because this here the number with x square is plus 1 so here a is positive so curve will be happy like this y intercept is this number This number c c is the y-intercept plus c the y-intercept here c is six c the c equals six the y-intercept is six for x-intercepts the condition is the condi you can write the condition the condition is keep f x to zero. Keep f x equal to zero. This f x to zero. When it will be zero, the equation, this this function will become an equation of second degree like this: x square minus f x plus six equals zero. And x intercepts come by solving this equation by any method. You know, we have uh, one method of factoring. We have one method of uh, using rule to solve this equation. We can use any method. here i am using the factoring method so this left side has these two factors when we solve this equation using these two factors we get x1 equal 2 and x2 equal 3 actually they are intercept they are x intercept first intercept 2 second intercept 3 now step 4 minimum x the minimum value of x this is the rule minus b over 2a minus b over 2a This minus is in the rule, and this value of b is here, minus five. See here, this is the value of b. This is the value of b. This is the value of c, and here this is the value of a, like this. So this is minus b over minus minus five by two, and five by two, two point five. This is the x minimum, and what is the minimum minimum x at? And this is another rule. This another rule. Minimum x at x one plus x two by two. X one is two plus x two is three. Three by two plus three by two. Five by two. Five by two equal two point five. We get the same value. Either you use this rule minus b over two a, or you use this rule x one plus x two by two. Two point five. So this is the minimum x. Now the minimum value of function. To so put this x in the function here, this is the function. In this function, put x equal two point five. When I put x equal two point five here, I calculate two point five square minus five multiplied two point five plus six. It gives me minus zero point two five. Okay. Now I have every information. What I will do? I will put these things. This is the six. This is this is my line x axis. This is my line y axis. Here is point six. Here point two. Here point three. And in between two and three, this is two point five. This corresponds to two point five. I have the value minus zero point two five of f x value. This f x, f two point five is minus zero point two five. I put it here. The so two point five x and minus two point five f x. This is the turning point. I get this value. This point, this point. I got this point, this point, this point, and this point. Now just join these points like this. Join these points, and we get the curve. For x-intercept, this is the rule. This is the condition. I am repeating here. I have taken one more exercise just to explain this quickly. Is cast the quadratic function. Now function is minus x square plus five x minus six. Now this a is negative. This is B and this is C. Okay, 
तो दिस इज ए दिस इज बी एंड दिस इज सी फर्स्ट स्टेप दिस फंक्शन विल बी सेट वाई बिकॉज ए इज नेगेटिव दिस ए इज माइनस वन ए इज नेगेटिव सो दिस विल बी सेट लाइक दिस स्टेप टू वट इज वाई इंटरसेप्ट वाई इंटरसेप्ट इज माइनस सिक्स स्टेप थ्री फॉर एक्स इंटरसेप्ट राइट यूज दिस कंडीशन एफ एक्स इक्वल जीरो वेन एफ एक्स इक्वल जीरो दिस फंक्शन विल बिकम ए सेकेंड डिग्री इक्वेशन सेकेंड डिग्री इक्वेशन इज माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस एक्स इक्वल जीरो अगेन वी कैन यूज एनी मेथड आई द रूल और फैक्ट्रिंग बट फॉर फैक्ट्रिंग वी डोंट वॉन्ट दिस साइन हियर आई टोल्ड इन द क्लास मेनी टाइम्स फॉर फैक्ट्रिंग द प्रोसीजर विच वी स्टडीड इज एक्स स्क्वायर शुड बी प्लस वन शुड हैव ओनली शुड हैव ओनली प्लस वन नो नंबर हियर नो अदर साइन हियर तो बिकॉज हियर इज नेगेटिव साइन तो वट वी डू वी डिवाइड बाई नेगेटिव साइन द होल इक्वेशन या और यू कैन से वी चेंज ऑल साइन तो दिस माइनस वन बिकम्स वी चेंज साइन ऑन बोथ साइड्स बिकॉज दिस माइनस टू दिस प्लस दिस प्लस टू दिस माइनस दिस माइनस टू दिस प्लस बिकॉज राइट साइड इज जीरो सो दिस इज अनएफेक्टेड वेन वी डू दिस वी गेट दिस टू फैक्टर्स एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस टू जीरो एंड बाई फैक्टरिंग मेथड एक्स वन टू एक्स टू थ्री मिनिमम स्टेप फॉर मिनिमम एट माइनस बी माइनस बी ओवर टू ए इक्वल माइनस फाइव टू मल्टीप्लाइज टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड दिस स्टेप फाइव द मिनिमम वैल्यू स्टेप फाइव द मिनिमम वैल्यू एफ टू पॉइंट फाइव दिस दिस पुट एवरी वैल्यू दिस इज प्लस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव नाउ आई पुट ऑल दीज वैल्यूज हियर दिस एक्स एक्सिस दिस वाई एक्सिस दिस दिस माइनस सिक्स एट वाई एक्सिस दिस टू दिस थ्री दिस मिड पॉइंट and this is 0.25 the coordinate of this turning point is 2.5 and uh, 0.25 and we plot this number this number this point this point and then finally we join these two points like this okay now these uh, five problems i have written as a homework do you just try to solve to draw these lines these uh, second degree function is catch the following function this 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 and this and five there are five functions i have written same procedure we have to follow and the same style i just repeat this again the fourth one i am telling this uh, just to sketch a function we need five point we need to know the five points what is the shape what is the y intercept what is x intercept what is the minimum point and what is the minimum value we need these five points and quickly step 1 what is the shape of the curve shape of the curve depends on this number because this negative so it will be said y intercept we don't have to do anything with y intercept this is this number so this step 1 and step 2 we do not know we do we don't need to calculate anything from the function itself we get these two information step 1 is uh, step 1 the shape comes with this value and step to y intercept comes from this value we are not doing any calculation calculation starts with step 3 step for step 3 the calculation for x intercept this is the rule put fx to 0 and when we put fx equal to 0 this function second degree function becomes a second degree equation like this and left side we can factorize or we can use the rule and these factors give x1 x2 like this then for mid value mid point we use this rule we get this value and the minimum to find the minimum value we put this value in the function we calculate this value and we point out these numbers on the graph this c this x1 this x2 this midpoint why this here mid midpoint is here why i am putting here because this is the turning point this is the turning point and this is the uh, coordinate of turning point is 2.5 and 0.25 that is why i am writing it here so this when when i join this i get them. okay i hope you understand and repeat this video two three times inshallah you will understand it purely okay salam alaikum